Hey guys, it's Hummingbird again, and I am still sitting here in the end lounge of uh, my college dorm. So again, pardon any noises that come from that direction. It gets kind of loud in this hallway sometimes, but I also don't want to bother my roommate making videos. Anyway, um, in this video I wanted to uh, just quickly share with you uh, my brand new Welcome to Night Vale tarot deck. Um, you may remember a couple months ago I kind of took you guys through the uh, tarot deck that I drew. Uh, this is not that deck, this is the official Night Vale tarot deck which was released back in November. I got it as a, uh, as a Yule gift and I am very excited about it. Um, before I show you guys, I just would like to add in a quick little story there. Um, when I opened um, the packaging on my deck, I discovered that one of the cards, um, the Nine of Cups, was actually missing. There had been like a, a packaging error or something. But um, just this past Sunday, then I got in touch with um, the distributor and they were extremely prompt in getting back to me about it. Uh, and, you know, I, I gave them my address down here at school, and they shipped it to me right away. It got here yesterday, so, you know, I was waiting for it less than a week. And um, they were just very helpful with that, so uh, I would like to just applaud uh, the people at uh, Topatico because they did uh, a really lovely job with their customer service department, so thank you guys very much. Anyway, um, this here is the bag that the uh, Night Veil vale Tarot deck comes in. It's got you know, a very nice bit of embroidery on the front, and this is um, this is like a velvety material, uh, so it's you know it's very soft, also very durable. Um, it's got a very nice drawstring on it, so it's a great little bag. Um, and I also decided that because this is Night Veil, vale, uh, rather than putting you know something more like a quartz in with my deck, which is what I have with my Shadowscapes Tarot, you know, or something else that's like more traditionally associated with um, psychism or whatever, um, I decided that I was going to put my Bloodstone in there with it. So, so, seemed appropriate to me. Um, I think I'm just going to do this fairly quickly here, you know, uh, I'll just kind of go through the cards so you guys can see the artwork. It's really beautiful. Um, the artist of this deck has a tumbler, which I will put a link to in the bottom here. She has um, a master post of all of the cards that she designed, and um, she kind of explains the meaning of each card and her thought process as she was uh, going through uh, making the deck. So if you're interested, I would highly recommend checking that out. Uh, but without further ado here, I'll just go through this. Uh, so this is The Fool of the Major Arcana. Uh, this one is Cecil, which I had to laugh a little bit at because that was uh, the same uh, character that I picked for when I drew my deck. I'm just gonna set these next to me here, so bear with me for a second while I get myself organized. Okay, uh, next is The Magician with Tamika Flynn. Uh, oh, and I'll show you the back on these cards too. This is what the back looks like. Very pretty. It's not uh, exactly reversible, so if that matters to you, you know, just something to know, I guess. Uh, but the artwork throughout the deck is stunning. I love it. Uh, our high priestess in this deck is the faceless old woman who secretly lives in your home. The empress is uh, Mayor Pamela Winchell. For the Emperor, all hail the glow cloud. This is the Hierophant. The Lovers. The Chariot. Strength. Hermit. I don't know if, how well these are showing up on my camera here, but that's a uh, sentient pyramid in the background. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Hmm, that was loud. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance, 
the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, and the world. So that makes up the major arcana. And then um, for the minor arcana, we'll start here with the wands. So we have the ace, and two of wands, three of wands, Four of Wands, looking very spared from the sphere today. The Five of Wands. The Six. Seven. The eight. Nine, the Ten of Wands, that's uh, Tamika Flynn in the bottom there. I know it's a little hard to see again with my cameras, probably not being cooperative. Uh, anyway, then you have the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands, the wands with the evil little Strex pet. And finally, uh, what I consider to be one of the creepiest cards in this deck is the King of Wands. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Alright, uh, that brings us to the cups. So for the ace, we have Kaushik with his kittens. Two of Cups. Aww. The Three of Cups. It's a masked army. The Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. The Six of Cups. Hang on, my cards are slowly sliding over in their pile here, and I don't know what is going on down there, so I'm just going to kind of roll my eyes in their general direction. Uh, the Seven of Cups comes from the Condos live show. The Eight of Cups. And here's the Nine of Cups, which they so graciously sent to me very quickly. Ten of Cups, the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King of Cups with Steve Carlsberg and his daughter Janice. Very cute little card there. Excuse me. All right, uh, that takes us next to the swords. So here is the ace. The two of swords. Isn't this art style just beautiful? I love this. It's gorgeous. This is the three here. The four of swords is our mayor, Dana Cardinal. The five of swords. Six. This one took me a minute to figure out, but it's a helicopter seen from above. See, it's, it's got the blades spinning around there. That's pretty neat. That was well done, I thought. Um, Seven of Swords is an old oak door. The Eight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. 
10. This one took me a bit to figure out, but then my friend was like, oh, it's a cassette tape, which of course it is. So that's uh, a cassette tape for the Ten of Swords. Uh, page. The Knight. The Queen. And the King of Swords is the Sheriff of the Secret Police. Ah, you guys can probably hear that. There's a train going through now. Wonderful. I'm never going to get any Peace and Quiet for my videos, huh? Alright, uh, last but not least, we have uh, the Suit of Pentacles. So for the Ace, the Two of Pentacles, the Three, the Four, Six. I love this with the little angora rabbits. The seven. The eight. The nine. Ten. And then the page. just think that is a beautiful deck. Uh, I would highly recommend it. It's uh, a very good quality, you know, I mean, they're, uh, they're good, sturdy cards. They have some, some good weight to them. Uh, you know, they're a good size, too. I think it's a pretty standard size for a tarot card. Um, but the art throughout is beautiful. Uh, it's, you know, very occult, a little bit uh, macabre at times, but uh, I think that's fun. Uh, and if you like Night Vale, or if just something a little bit uh, weird or spooky appeals to you, then I think they're uh, a really great choice for a tarot deck. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.